Hello, welcome to Way Programming Channel. In my previous video, I tried to show you how do we download and install Harbor Mini GUI Extended. Today, I'm going to show the difference of HD, HMD IDE and IDE. As we As we install the mini GUI, we notice that there are two IDE. One is HMG IDE, another one is IDE. So, which one to use? Actually, both also can be used. And today I'm going to show you the difference between the two. HMG IDE is developed by Mr. Roboto Lopez as you can see from here HMG IDE is copyrighted by Mr. Roboto Lopez where you can find his information in this website in fact as you can see from here Mr. Roboto Lopez is the founder of HMG this happened many years back when he found that Windows turned into the standard operating system for PC the new programming languages developed was too bulky and uh, to him he think that these new languages constitute a step back in computer science evolution because the code become bigger less intuitive and more complex than in the previous generation and in fact it also consumes more memory and uh, bigger and bigger computer are needed to run Windows program so he discovered the Hubble project a fully new free multi-platform creeper based compilation in compiler in 2000 year 2000 and then from there it started to grow and today you can find uh, a lot of improvement have been done on the language so let's see what is the difference between the two uh, before that the second IDE was written by Mr. Walter Formigoni since year 2005 okay there are quite a bit of difference between the two and let's just see what are the difference between the two first we run HMG IDE and in order to show the difference of the two I have to uh, write a simple program to demonstrate the difference ok so this is HMG IDE which is written by Mr. Roboto when we want to start a new project we just click on this button the white paper here shows that so when we click the white paper it asks us to name the project so let's create a new folder for it I say I name it as project 1 ok inside project 1 name project 1 so automatically as you can see from here uh, HMG IDE has created a few files project 1 
These are the files that created automatically. First is the main FMG, which is for the form, and it is empty here. Second is main PRG, which is the module. As you can see, they have codes behind it. So this is the P main PRG and it started with include hmg.ch then it load for windows main it put the main in the center and activate it if we see the code of uh, the form which is this one uh, I have to open it with a notepad so it is defined as this this is done automatically so uh, before I run the, pro the, the project let's uh, add a label to show uh, how this project is created so okay now we have a label one And the name is label one, the value is label one. Let's change the label into welcome to way programming channel. Okay. And we can change the size. Now the font size is nine. Let's change it to let's say 16 bigger okay all right we can move this label by pla placing our icon the pointer and then just move it to the position that we like to be okay and we can also add another button to close it here button one the caption I change it to exit so that it's obvious that we when you want to exit we click the button and the name is button one so when we click it the action we change in event here the action here we put a uh, main release All right, now we have done our part. Let's look again what has been changed in the main PRG. Still the same, there is nothing changed. But on the form, there is uh, something there. Oh, before that, we have to save it first to in order to see the difference. Save the form. Okay. Now, this is the code. There are many lines of codes that have been uh, created here automatically, including the value of the label, then the button, action, main release. We don't have to change anything here. We just compile and run to see the difference. Save, yes. So this is the form that created. If we, if we click on exit, it will close the form. Okay. So this is one. Close the project. And we go out from this HMG IDE. And now we see how about the second IDE. So we run the program IDE here. The appearance are almost the same, but there are differences. 
okay to create the project as I shown before we start with a new project and then uh, create another folder and we name it project 2 okay inside here the project 2 as you can see the difference is it doesn't create form and the PRG module automatically we have to do it on our own so first we start a new form and we have to give the name to the new form that is the difference in the HMG IDE just now it create the form on its own and given the name main we can give the name main here or we can give another name let's say we call it form six okay form six so a form is created here and for H for this IDE the windows type is predefined as standard we have to change it to main okay and uh, we have to add a PRG our own a new model module let's say we give the same name form 6 so it create a a form on its own now we see the difference here just now it was include hmgch but here it is include mini gui.ch so actually they are using two different two different ch however they will create uh, the form that we want Another note, another difference we notice here is it, it open up Notepad as an editing uh, application on its own, and this actually can be changed as you like. You can go to Tools and Preferences. You see that it is using Notepad here, and it is using BCC 5.8. If you like to use BCC 5.5, you can change it here, and if you like to use notepad part plus plus we can also change here so that we can see the codes in notepad plus plus okay uh, let me change c program files notepad plus plus dot exe okay and I close this let's see if I double click here notepad plus plus will open up instead of notepad okay and uh, you can look at the form that's created under project 2 the form is form 6.fmg you open with notepad plus plus so it the, the different the different files is created here and the name of Walter for Migoni is here okay now we do the same thing as just now we want to add a label notice that it cannot be changed as I did just now just pull at the edge and become longer can move it around as I like when I put the pointer on the moving button so but here we can't do that so what I can do is we change it from here the font size is 9 you can change it to 12 let's say another one is uh, the value 
label one, we change it to welcome to way programming channel. Okay, you can see here is it's a uh, too long and it's not cannot accommodate. So what we can do is we try to make it uh, longer the width. Let's say you change it to 200. Oh, 200 is still not enough. Let's say 400. 500. Okay, now you can see. And uh, we added a button just now. So we do the same here. Add a button. And then this button, we change the caption to exit. And for the event here, we change the action as just now main uh, no, the name of the form is not main now as, as you can see here, the name of the form is form 6 so form 6 dot f uh, release Okay. Oh. So this is the difference between the two IDE. As you can see here, here is still called main. So we have to change this main into form 6 as we use you know, the name we use for the form. We have to change main to form 6. So you can see that this, the second IDE is more flexible but it needs more configurations in order to work, get what you want uh, and then I don't want the second button, delete ok now let's uh, we compile and see what is the outcome of this form Yeah, so the same form is created and it, uh, it has a label Welcome to Word Programming channel and in, when you press the exit button you will close So that is the example that I use to demonstrate the two different IDE So after we have created the program, now we can run the program from the exe file that has been created okay this is the one the the second program that i created using ide another one using hmg ide project one so these are the two forms that created using different ide they have the same result, same effect, but the way we do it, we have to do it a bit different. I found that the HMG IDE is easier to be operated. Okay, so see you. I hope you can do this exercise on your own. While we have our next video coming soon.